All right, guys, so we're right by the 147 bridge. We're on the Bird Island side, and we're just, he's just gonna run the drone down through there. There's some beautiful grass in here. All right, guys, so we're on the east side of the 147 bridge. It would be the northeast side of the 147 bridge. And so we're starting out right down the drain. Those of you who have great memories uh, and are my age or older remember when Jimmy Nolan won a Bassmaster Invitational right there where that dirt is on the left side throwing a uh, if i remember right a pose crankbait but you can see he'd have a hard time catching anything other than squirrels and rabbits up there right now so we'll work our way up the drain and you can see it's just really shallow you can see to the right side there my understanding always has been that's where they dug some of the dirt out to build that bridge right there i don't know if that's true or not but that's what i've been told and, uh, and, you know, interestingly, I'll share with you all also something Clayton Boulware said to me the other day. We were talking about running the boat lanes at Rayburn versus Toledo. And he said that, uh, you know, so at Toledo several, several years ago, the water was five or six feet low. And in all the boat lanes, there were sawed off timber right under the water or right above the water's edge. And what Clayton said to me was that, when they cut the lanes at Toledo, they cut them, but when they made the lanes, now remember the Bull Bear family, including Clayton's dad, has been there since they built this lake. He said when they built this lake, they actually ground the stumps at the ground level in the boat lanes here, which is why we don't have problems in the boat lanes with sawed off stumps. So uh, you see we're peeling off now. We're going to show you the islands. We've got some, Jason just did a beautiful job shooting this. You see the grass beds with a little drain through the middle of it. We're going to run that gap right there. You see here oh, wait not that gap let me make sure i'm in the right place no we're going to run the gap out to the mouth here but you can see the beautiful grass bed there the islands again 147 is right there on your left and he's going to swing it around and we're going to show y'all a really nice view of everything around bird island and then we're going to run it and then we're going to show you on the back side of it we're going to show you uh Sorry for the hesitation there, guys. I thought just for a second that my, uh, my audio wasn't recording. Uh, we're going to show you on the back side. Uh, we're going to show you the amber force, which will be to your right right here. We're going to show you how to avoid that. Probably the scariest run I regularly see guys make, including some locals. And we're going to show you how to run that little cut. You can just see on the right right there, you see some shallow, shallow water on your right. There, we're sitting right in the middle of that drain. That's us right there. That's Jason and I. And I believe we're going to bring it back in. We're going to get the boat turned around, and we're going to make a little pass right here. So I'm going to be quiet and let y'all just enjoy this footage. I hope you're watching it on a big screen TV because it is spectacular. I really thought I wanted it on a calm day, but I like the water movement. It really seems to add something to the video. So uh, let's check it out together. All right, guys, I'm going to show you. This is the most dangerous thing I see guys do regularly on Rayburn. So 147 bridge, top left of your screen. Bird Island, of those little islands you can see there, I'll give you a better close-up. And that, and that is a very, very loose representation of the amber force I've drawn out there. But that is, we're going to fly over it in a minute, you'll see the wood out there. There's wood all the way out across there. So the two ways, if you're coming from the 147 bridge to get into Harvey Creek, is either to run over to Calhoun Point, which is that big point sticking up out of the bottom of your screen at about 7 o'clock, and then around the corner and up in there, or until the water gets just a little bit shallower to run the back side of those islands. And let me show you exactly what I'm talking about when I say the back side of those islands. So that is the run you've got to make to get in here. And it is, th this is basically at pool. It is a whole lot shallower than that in there right now. You're going to see, I'm probably throwing mud when I run this. This is 11 feet low. So this is the, the old footage where the lake is super, super low. Now, by the way, your maps show this. I tell you what, let's go to the very aerial footage and, and we'll go through there together. Uh, eight feet deep right on the edge. We're gonna run the drone, we're gonna come back and we're gonna run this so I think I'll post at the bottom. I believe I looked this morning, the lake's at 158.7, which is almost six feet low. Pool's 160.4. We're gonna run this little jaunt behind Bird Island. but. I'll tell you, it's almost too shallow to run it, and I just had a guy come through there, so I know there's nobody fishing in it, because if there's somebody fishing in it, you're not going to hit them, but you could wind up on a shallow spot, so 
we're gonna turn around we're gonna run through there so in the future you guys will see how to run this there's a little island right here when we go in on our right so you come under the bridge you turn and go down the rocks about 100 yards and you're gonna turn and go right through that hole between those islands and we're gonna show that to you right here in just a second Okay, I'm right behind you. You ready? Yep. You know, the drone can only keep up to about 35 miles an hour, and I kind of ran away and left it right here. But you're going to see exactly what we do. So the island on the right is the first island once you're past the bridge. And, and right now is a great time to mark this. Now, your Navionics map, your Lake Master maps, they all show this really, really well. So you can run this. What you got to be careful of is when you make this corner, if there's somebody sit, if it gets any shallower, if there's somebody sitting up here in this mouth of this thing fishing, there's every chance in the world you're going to shut down and, and be stuck. Now, right now, I think you could still float through there on a trolling motor, but if it gets much shallower, that's going to be really hard to do. So you can see I ran right through. I mean, there's an obvious path through there. I ran right through there. And what you're going to see as we get up here is on the left side, there is some super, super, well, I mean, shallow water. It's bank right now, but even at pool, there's some shallow water. And I say that. At pool, you can run pretty much out across there. But if the lake's down at all, you got to be pretty careful where you're running out across there. So there you go. That big island on the right right there, that's what's known as Bird Island, the one with the trees on it. It's, it's, uh, it don't have near the trees on it. It used to. But you can see there, I'm jogging back left again, and you can see that shallow water on my right again, and then I'm going to have to swing back right again. I shut down right there to let the drone catch me, but you can see i got to go towards that little clay island and then swing back to the right again. So just take us out across there and film that, that area. Out here the uh -huh. left. You don't really have to go real far left. Probably about those two dead pine trees and then come up into that drain. Okay, to show you what we're going to fly, so you see the bridge, 147 bridge there, and there's some little drains that run across that flat back there. Now, this is 2011 footage when the lake is so incredibly low, but I'm going to jump to 20, 2009 footage when there's a little bit more water in there, and you see there's some cool drains in there. The water you're seeing at the very, very top, top right of your screen, very corner, for that's actually um, Indian, and when the water gets high, you can actually go through that that drain right there at the top of the screen right in the middle top of the screen that actually goes all the way through to indian through the woods when the water gets a little bit high but uh, we're going to fly this section of the lake and let you take a look at it now so lift off but again you see the clay islands we're still the boat's still sitting in that drain and there's really a couple of i'm not going to call them creeks because they really don't flow there's a couple of big drains back here there's actually some relatively deep water across that flat normally. It's some 10, 11, 12 foot water out there across that flat. And you can see he's going to fly right to that first drain. Uh, and then he's going to swing it back to the right and fly to the second drain. Many, many, many years ago, Newberry and I caught uh, on one of the worst days I've ever fished on uh, Rayburn. We put in at Jackson Hill in a media bass tournament and the wind was blowing literally 30 40 miles an hour it was january it's as cold as i've been in a long time and again that's harvey you see up there on the top right uh we went out across and just fished over and over and over that flat with chatterbait actually with the chatterbait with just a lake fork body on it and no skirt and we caught three fish that day and finished second i think we had three that weighed like 16 or 17 pounds but it was one of the toughest days i've ever spent we had three bites that day but uh, that's what that looks like. There you go. You're looking back now towards Bird Island. That's Bird Island top left up there. And see those shallow spots in that little bay back there. And that drain, if you go back to that Google footage I showed you a minute ago, both those drains really weave across that, that flat a lot. And uh, a lot of fish have been caught in this area. Uh, and a lot of fish have been back caught back to the left of what you're looking at here as well. So there comes our boat again. And now we're going to fly over bird island we're going to show you the wood out there in the amber forest okay so we're lifting back off from the boat and now we're going to fly back out towards the 147 bridge and I've actually not viewed this footage before. We're watching it together here, guys. So uh, many, many, many of us have run through that little shallow gap right there between those two islands when the water gets a little bit high. 
there's been some really good grass around those islands man when that water gets up a little bit it's really going to be great but uh, I hope this demonstrates what I see guys running through uh, that scares me that I see happen so often as he swings this camera back to the left over here 147 bridge going all the way back across that would be Castle Boykins up there on the point on the right you're looking at so the camera's really moving, the drone's really moving almost west right there. And then he's going to swing it around. See a boat running out there, he's staying way wide of that timber. That's Calhoun we just saw right there. And now he's going to drive us right out through the middle of the amber forest out here. You see a big stump right there. That's pretty shallow, but you see wood scattered out there to the right. And, and I'm telling you guys, I've idled through out there. There's some big stuff out there. I'm afraid we don't capture it real good. You can see wood scattered out across there, but that wood goes on out there into that deeper water as well. I'm sorry, I had hoped we caught that video footage a little bit better. That's a uh, poor directing on my part. You can see our boat up there on the left, so that's back to the left of Bird Island. We're looking directly into Harvey right here is what we're looking into. And we're going to come out here. There's a long point that runs out there, an underwater point. You see it on the left of the boat right there. And then there's also one on our right over here as well that's not as shallow and not quite as long. It's actually, it's probably as long, it's just not quite as shallow. Now this is one that I catch myself doing pretty regularly. So as the camera swings there, that point you see up there at the top of the screen, that's roughly the old Harvey Creek boat ramp. And the tendency is when you come past that shallow point right there to run right straight at that. But let me tell you something, you really don't want to do that because the amber force actually comes out into the mouth of Harvey right there a little bit. We're going to do a flyover for you here. You see one big stump out there on my left. But actually, let me show it to you on the map before we do that. So if you popped out of that, that drain we just talked about, you see up there the jig jag behind island. Now this is 11 feet low, and you wanted to go, say for example, to Veach or, or further down the lake or running all the way back down to, to Umphreys. The tendency is to run that straight line that was on that first map. The danger, however, is the amber forest, and again, this is, a, this is a guess on my part, but what I do know is you can't run that straight line I showed you on that last map. You have got to swing, that, that's my guesstimation as to where the amber forest lays. You have got to swing back into Harvey just a little bit and go down there before you make that corner. Now, if you're running up the lake, you know, this is from one of my old map tips, I actually run in either direction. So. There are three waypoints as illustrated here. And you see that little straight line I drew down there. And again, that's purely a guess. But the river is right through there. Below that straight line back towards the G on Google, that is the Black Forest. So there's just a gap you can run there. And basically what you want to do is enter those three waypoints into your system. And going up the lake, you want to keep those three waypoints on your right. And if you're coming down the lake and swinging back in to go either into Harvey or go up the other side of the lake, you want to keep those three waypoints just off to your left. Where that middle waypoint is, there used to be a big tall wavy tree, but I believe one of the hurricanes blew that big tall wavy tree down. But if you don't enter any other waypoints in your system on Sam Rayburn, enter those three waypoints because those are accurate. I entered them when the water was real, real low several years ago and just stay within I want to say two or three hundred yards of those trees don't get back down below that and certainly don't cross the river because if you get across the river down below that uh, you're back into the black forest and then also on this side of bird island there's timber that runs at an angle to the point in front of us up here to that point way up yonder i don't know Sorry, I was talking, y'all couldn't hear me. I don't know how far you can see that, but to that point, there's timber all scattered. So you really got to come out of this when you come away from Bird Island and go, even if you're going down to the dam, you need to go left about, I'm going to say a half a mile, and then turn and go to that point so you stay out of the amphitheater. Uh, I've 
seen some bad stuff happen out there and there's a lot of wood in the water out there and by the way this little soccer tree point out here on our left i can still see it i'm in six feet of water i can see the bottom just to my left right here so you really need to stay between that shallow point on the left and this spot right here bird island right there you can see i'm actually kind of up on it right there so when you come through that drain that's bird island you really want to hug that and then you don't want to run over here you want to run over here to get to where you can run on up the lake i hope y'all can hear that if not i'll voice over okay guys so that is uh that is the cut through behind bird island uh the amber forest how to get around the amber forest how to get into harvey coming from the north uh, all good stuff uh next week uh Tuesday will do another fishing video we'll either do uh another aerial drone of a fishing area is what i'm trying to say uh we will so if you didn't see this past Tuesday we covered harvey uh the all, the entire back of harvey with aerial drone footage just like we did here uh then next Tuesday we'll either do we've got on still to the south end of the lake or the mid part of the lake i guess you'd say we've still got pofers uh the canyons and uh and white oak we'll do one of those and then next thursday we'll start our way up the lake showing you how to run the long cut if you want to go towards the deer stand up towards hank and on up towards the 103 bridge and the angelina arm so hope you guys enjoyed this footage uh, as always my sponsors make this happen so if you shop tackle warehouse please use my link below that lets them know you came from me and certainly they support us same way with six cents at Six Sense website, Ken 10 gets you 10% off. And at Waterland Optics, if you need a good pair of sunglasses for your fishing, polarized optics, uh, Ken 15 will get you 15% off there. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We will see you all next Tuesday.